Your action in life determines your future destiny. Welcome to today's DDRX. We're looking at checking your choices. Deuteronomy 30:19. I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that have said before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both you and your descendants may live. Today we want to look at root and upper. We see loyalty versus leery, commitment versus cautious or caution, commitment versus caution. Naomi in Moab had lost her husband and two sons, so she was left with her two daughters-in-law, root and upper. So she decided to go back to her own country and she called her two daughters-in-law to remain in Moab, their home country. In Ruth 1, 8 to 10, and Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, go return to each to her mother's house. The Lord did kindly with you as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant you your request. And so she kissed them and they lifted up their voices and wept. And they said to her, surely we will return with you to your people. Opa decided to stay in Moab. She was leery, she was cautious. She remained in Moab, not willing to leave her homeland. Then in Ruth 1.14, then they lifted up their voices and wept again, and Opa kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. In Ruth 1.15 to 16, and she said, Look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her gods. Return after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God my God. Where you die, I will die. And there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me and more also, if anything but death, Part you and me. So Ruth showed devotion and commitment to Naomi, her mother-in-law. She dropped the sensible and ventured to the unknown. God bless her faithfulness and her loyalty. Your action in life determines your future destiny. So you know what happened in Ruth 4, 13 as I close? 13 to 17. So Boaz took Ruth and she became his wife. And when he went into her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bore his son. Then the woman said to Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, who has not left you this day without a close relative. And may his name be famous in Israel. And may he be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age. For your daughter-in-law who loves you, who is better to you than seven sons, has born him. Then Naomi took the child and laid him on her bosom and became a nurse to him. Also the neighbor woman gave him a name saying that is a son born to Naomi and they call his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse, the father of David. You see your choice today will have impact on your tomorrow. Thank you.